to Wildwood Cottage and welcome back to Wales. It's lovely to have you here. Hope you're all doing well and hope you've all had a good weekend. Well, the sun's back out and I've been out in the garden, been having a good time, been getting some weeding done, some potting done. But I just thought I'd show you a little bit around the garden and let you see what's in flower at the end of February. So yeah, the camellia is looking beautiful. I've got some daffodils. I've got some tulips coming through. All the buds are coming through on my fruit brushes. And everything's starting to look like spring. So I just thought to come on, just say hello, show you my new hairdo and uh, show you around the garden. So let's go outside and let's see what's in flower and let's see what's going on in the garden. So we're out in, we're out in the yard and uh, we're going to start here. And I'm going to show you around here, just show you a few things that are in flower. And uh, then we'll go into the main part of the garden. So the first thing is my little tater tay daffodils. They came out last week. Um, something's been having a little nibble, but they do look very nice. Um, my roses are starting to come back into bud again. I'm starting to get some nice new shoots. And uh, it's doing really well. This one's Strawberry, Fa Strawberry Hill from uh, David Austin. Most of my roses are David Austin, but uh, this one I put in last year. This one is Swan Lake. It's getting some nice little shoots back on it. Um, don't know where I'm going to put that yet, but it can stay here for the time being. My daffodils are starting to come out just in time for St David's Day and uh, they're a nice welcome uh, break from all the rain and all the wind so that's really nice. Uh, my daffodils are starting to come through now and I've just noticed um, I've got one of those nerine as well that's starting to come through so that's good. Um, I've still got all my wood here to shift that's not going anywhere. That's a plum tree it's not come back yet. Um, I did get my woodshed tidy. It's all nicely organised in here now. That was a good job well done last week. And uh, we're making our way through the woods. I think this is going to last us probably until April. Um, and then that stuff at the back there needs to dry out. So we're doing well at the moment. All our hard work was worth it. Um, beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, all my buds are coming back now on my um, opal plum and my Victoria plum. This is a dual plum tree um, and it seems very happy here because it gets a good drink of water. The only thing is it does get battered by the wind. So uh, once I've seen the blossom and that's nearly finished, I think I might move it out the way and uh, then it won't knock all the fruits off. But the birds like to pick off all the little bits of fruit so it'd be good to put it somewhere where they can't see the fruit. Uh, this is a beautiful rose. It's got some lovely shoots on it. It's a climbing rose and it's called Leaping Salmon. If you can see the label there upside down. Um, it is a climber. Well, it's a tall rose. Let's see if it says on it how tall it is. There's the, the doodah, the instructions. Does it say? Yeah. Um, six to ten foot so it's a tall one so i need to find somewhere for that uh, i still haven't got all my plants in off my brother because the weather's been so horrible I haven't been able to i've still got my rhododendrons to plant these ones these are uh, red jack i've got two of them to go in it's all starting to come back in this border now this is the one that's next to the wall that overlooks the field and just as I've come out with my camera, the sun's disappearing. Typical. This is the last one of Gordon's plants that had the lovely blue flower on it last year. It seems to be happy here. It needs a bit of a prune. But uh, I think I need to do some cuttings off that this year. And if you can find a picture of it, I'll pop it in for you. This rose here did amazingly well last year. It flowered its socks off from about April till November. As did all my roses really, even with all the bad weather that we had. Did really well. That is um, mullion. I've been harvesting the leaves and drying them above the stove and uh, I'm using them as a herbal tea for my chest. And it's really clearing it up as well. Um, I've still got some climbing roses to go in off my brother. Um, I need to find a home for them, but it's just getting it round to it with all the rain that we've been having. I've still got all that wood to do and I pile more in the garage, but it's all starting to dry out in the sun. So that's a relief. Oh look, my hyacinths are in flower. There we are. My hyacinths are starting to come out. That's nice. Everything's starting to come back and it's only sort of 
beginning of March. Let's put them there. This bed here, I'm not happy with this at all. This was a herb bed last year and uh, it had no flowers in it or anything. So I'm going to take all the herbs out. I'm going to weed it. I'm going to put some plants in here, I think. Um, I don't really need it for food at the moment. I may do some bits and bobs at the front. Maybe some lettuce or some onions and things like that. But we'll see. But I'd like a bit more colour in here. And the um, herbs don't give me much colour. So, yeah, it'd be good to change that. I've got some beautiful red vein sorrel there. It comes up every year. I bought one a few years ago. And it just self-seeds itself every year. I've got one over there. And I've got one over there. So they do self-seed themselves. So I'm going to get them out. And I'm going to pop them. There's another one there. Um, I saw another one. I think I've got four all together. So it'll be good to get them out and get them in the veg garden. And then they can spread around my veg garden. This is uh, Wallace and Old Hall. Another David Austin. It's got masses of new shoots on it. It's doing really well. Um, I did have a late flower bud in November. So it needs a bit of a prune. But that is a climber. And I'm hoping to climb that up here and then along the wall and have some nice colour on the wall. Um, I might just let it trail over the wall and let it drip, like um, a dripping effect over the wall. This is a scepter to aisle and look at all these beautiful new shoots coming through on here. It looks absolutely amazing. So I think that's really happy in that spot. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it there. All the perennials are starting to come back now. They've got lots of new growth. Um, so they're all doing well. I need to divide this up. Sorry about my shadow. This is Canterbury Bells. So that needs dividing up. I need to take away some of the daisies. There's far too much in here. So that needs doing. Um, and this rose here is um, tottering by gently. Now I'm thinking I really would like another one of these. I love this rose bush. It's beautiful. It has lovely little dainty yellow flowers on it. And it flowers right the way through until the end of November from the beginning of spring. So, and it does produce these beautiful red rose hips. So I think that's what I might do. I might buy another one. Um, I would have liked it down there and have one here and one down there. But I don't really want to move Scepter to Isle when Scepter to Isle is so happy. So we'll have to see. This is uh, one of the climbing roses of my mum and dad's. It seems very happy there. Again, it's coming back. It seems to have had a little bit of frost. But that's a, that is one new, that's a new shoot that came up um, late last year. So that's doing really well. Need to clean out the pond. This is what I did it for a video last year. It's got a load of algae in at the moment, so it really needs a good clean out. Um, hasn't had anything done to it all summer. Um, so yeah, it needs sorting out. There's another daffodil there at the back. Um, my husband's just gone out, so I'm just trying to do a quick tour for you. Some more daffodils. So all this needs tidying up and sorting out. It does have Dyer's Chamomile in here, which is a dye plant for dyeing wool. All this needs sorting out. Because I couldn't get out here last year, it's just got full of grass, full of strawberries. So this is going to be a project for this year. I've got lots of plants I can put in here, but uh, it needs a really good sort out, a really good tidy up. So that is next to the porch, where I sit in the summer doing my spinning and my knitting. And then over here, We've got rolled doll, and this is one I got off my mum and dad um, for one of my birthdays. It wasn't last year, I think it was the year before. Um, and it flowers its socks off. It's a beautiful rose. I highly recommend it. It'll flower, repeat flowering year after year, month after month, week after week. It just keeps on going. It's a fabulous rose, well worth the money. Um, this one, look at my uh, camellia, coming on really well. This is beautiful. It's just burst into song in the last couple of days with all the sun we've had. Right, this rose here is Gertrude Jekyll. So she's doing very well. Um, she's got some nice new shoots on. So I think she's going to be fine. But we have had a very mild winter. So I'm not too but not too uh, fussed about them really. The azalea is not doing very well. So I am going to swap it. I'm going to put the one off my brother there and pop that somewhere else. So over here, this is um, the border I built last year, and um, it just had stuff. It just had stuff thrown in, and uh, it needs a really good sort out and a really good tidy up. All these long branches here with the cosmos that I put in, and uh, yeah, it needs sorting out. These lovely purple flowers here are lungwort, and look at them—they change from pink to purple to blue. 
and they're beautiful and you get all these colours on one flower stem it's absolutely gorgeous so I've got loads of that that is a medicinal herb that I want to learn how to use and lungwort means it's good for your lungs so I would like to learn how to use that but again this needs a really <coughs> really good tidy up there's a lot of stuff in here a lot of things that are the same so it'd be good to take things out divide them and uh, move them on that's what happened um, in Storm Aisha and Storm Jocelyn. She decided to throw it all over the place. It was a screen around the oil tank, but as you can see, it's in the screen no more. So it needs rebuilding. So as I said in one of my other videos, I am going to do a dead hedge and uh, do that there. And then that'll get rid of some of the garden waste. So that's my plans for that. Have you seen my tansy? Look at that, it's doing really well. That was a cutting off a cutting. Everything just seems to be coming back all of a sudden. Like the garden's been to sleep. Butterflies haven't been out yet to feed on the spirea. I'm hoping they get out soon so that they can enjoy the flowers because the flowers are just starting to go over. But there's a few bees around today and they seem to be feeding on it. So, so that's nice. So this is the perennial border that we saw last year in last year's videos. If you're interested, I'll put a thing in the eye button for a playlist for the garden for last year and uh, again it needs a good tidy up it's got loads of grass as I say I couldn't get out here uh, for the last six months it's just been an absolute bog an absolute nightmare and I've not been able to get out but everything is starting to come back this crocosmia is far too big and it needs sorting out and dividing up and um, the alliums are starting to come back there they're the globe ones Um, what else have we got we've got another this is a cardoon thistle here, and this is one of Gordon's. These are stocks. They, I love those. They're one of my favourite flowers. Um, so you can see there's a lot of new green growth coming on in here, and everything is starting to come back. There's another big clump of that tansy. Might divide that and put that in my shop for you, and it's with some of the daisies. There's a nice GM at the back there, and uh, oh, what's it called? acanthus now do you know it's not really done very well in this garden i've put cuttings around all over the place and it only seems to like growing there so i think i'm just going to leave it there plenty of daffodils coming through i mean for late february beginning of march the garden's doing really well i mean look how much new growth is on this azalea looks fabulous lots of new shoots coming coming up here so that's really nice now have you seen my camellia it has just gone bonkers absolutely bonkers it shouldn't be this nice yes it's about a month early maybe two months early because usually the hornets are feasting on it at the end of uh, april going into may but this is going to be finished by then but isn't it lovely absolutely beautiful i'm really pleased it's beautiful from the house looking at it from the bedroom window in the sitting room just this big bright blast of red and after the long dark winter we've had with all that rain it's a, a nice welcome break. So let's go and have a quick look up here. I'm not going to see the girls today. Um, this is another climbing rose. I think it's a yellow one. It's doing really well. It seems very happy. So that can stay there. I need to fix this arch. Storm Jocelyn decided to have a fight with it. So she needs to be sorted out. Um, this rose here is buttercup. Now it's never really flowered very well. So I'm hoping for better things this year. But it may not like its spot so we'll see how it goes this year it has a lovely yellow flower on it i'll pop a picture in for you but uh, another david austin but it doesn't seem very happy and doesn't seem to want to do anything now next this is where all the fruit is up here and uh, i think this is an apple a dwarf apple um and then next to that this is where pepper it poppy is it's not looking very happy oh yes it is it's got some new growth on it it's got some buds but i put pippa under here when she died last year or the year before not pippa poppy when she died a couple of years ago so so that's that look at my budlia <laughs> budlia is very happy got lots and lots of new shoots on it this is a white one and i love it it's absolutely beautiful when it flowers Low, full of butterflies i do have the traditional purple ones but they're down in the veg garden but there's not much coming through here yet. It's a bit colder up this part of the garden. 
Um, my magnolia is coming back over here. Let's take you over there. This needs a lot of work. This is my woodland patch. And it does lead an awful lot of uh, work up here to get it going again. This is uh, my magnolia. I think this one is a white one. It's either a white one or a purple one. Can't really remember, but it's coming back and it's doing really well and it's very happy. Um, this is a cherry. And I've got a couple of flowering currants. Now they're beautiful when they come, the flowering currants. They look really, really nice. Just these little teeny tiny flowers. Um, but very pretty. I've got two of them. I've got one there. I've got my pear. No, I'm not hopeful about this, to be honest with you. I think this has had it. But uh, I can't see any signs of any new growth. It's about 10 years old. I think it's seen better days. I'm just not sure fruit does here under this conifer tree. I think I'm fighting a losing battle because it makes it very acidic. So I think I'm going to have to rethink planting the fruit up under these trees. Especially this one because it's such a big tree. Um, yeah, right, let's march on. So this is where the wood storage is going. And I'm doing kind of an, a rhododendron hedge all the way along here. Um, and every, that's a rhododendron. Um, I've got, that's a rhododendron. That's a rhododendron. And then there's another one, two, three, four of them there. Because they do so well. And they look so pretty at different times of the year. Have you seen Mother Burnham? Look how pretty that is with its lovely little flowers on. And there's a little bit of pink in the flower as well. Can you see that little bit of pink? It's very nice. Very pretty. So yeah, this is all going to be rhododendrons along there. And that's going to provide a screen for here. They're going to grow about six or seven foot tall. So that's taller than me. So I'm happy about that. And then behind that, I've got my jasmines to go in. I've brought this up so I can plant it. I'm going to plant one there and one there. And then two in that gap there, I think. This is an uh, euonymus. It's not as happy as the other one the other side, but it's getting going. It did have white flowers on it. And it has got some nice new growth on it. So I'm happy about that. That's one of the plants off my brother. That is... Um, what is it? It's a variegated laurel. I can't quite remember the name of it now, but it seems to be happy there, so it can stay. I've got my Jonas Gold Apple, which is happy about that last year, and that seems to be happy there. Another rose. This is a rambling rector. This is doing very well. So as you can see, there's a lot coming back. Um, the perennials are a little bit slow up here. Now, I'm thinking of leaving that holly in and making it into a bush. And shaping it. I want to get rid of the laurel. But I'm thinking of shaping this holly bush here and uh, making it into a bush just to add that extra bit of depth to the border and it'll give me berries and it'll give me the holly leaves. So because the birds like the berries this one here is not very good. Let me zoom you back out. This one here isn't very good bush. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I've got another apple tree here. I do like my apples and my pears. I think that's a dwarf one. It's not going to grow taller than two and a half metres. And then another rhododendron there. And another one just there. Then we go along to the rose walk. Which is along here. These are my field maples. I think I'm going to tap this one here this year. And uh, see if I can get some maple syrup out of it. This is my rose arch. I've got a wild rose here off my mum and dad. It hasn't really done much, but it's got new growth on it. So maybe it was just getting its roots in place. Uh, this is Generous Gardener. She wasn't very generous last year. But uh, she has got some nice new red growth on the top here. And down here. So I'm hoping for some nice flower buds this year. I need to sort this pampas grass out. I really don't like it. I keep it because it was Gordon's, but I might dig some of it out and pop it under the conifer tree at the back. And then up here, this is the Rose Walk along here. Um, it wasn't very successful last year with all the bad weather that we had. 
but I do have quite a few roses and I have quite a few more to go in off my brother as well. I've got another one of those variegated laurel at the back there now, that was off my brother. Another rhododendron just there, that was the one that I had a wasp's nest under when it was planted underneath that laurel that's here. So I've moved it along now and popped it there. Um, this long stalk here you can see was a white mulberry of Gordon's from his retirement but it died. Sadly I had to take it out for the oil tank and it never recovered so that's that. This one here is a damson and then I have another apple there, I think that's an Elstar. Um, and then some more rhododendrons there at the back. This one was Gordon's, it has a beautiful reddy pink flower on it, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's like a cerise pink. So that can stay. Um, and Maria bought me last year for my 50th, she bought me a tree peony. And Maria's in Australia. She gave me a gift through Kofi. And here you are, Maria. It's coming back. It's looking very happy. It has some nice new shoots on it down the bottom there. Can you see them? So thank you, Maria. It's doing very well. It's very happy. And it's coming back. So that was nice of her, that was very nice of her, very kind. Um, I've got some crocus down here, just here, looking very happy. And uh, this is my big tree, tree piece that I put in last autumn. Didn't get a chance to show you because of all of that wet weather that we had. It's a massive piece of oak. There was no way I was going to cut that up to go in the fire. So it's now a display piece in the garden. And I've got another two out the front to come up. So I need to get stuck in and get them moved. So there are a few red currants in this part of the garden here. Um, but I'm not sure if they're going to do anything. This one's dead, I think. I think this one's seen better days. Oh, mind you, it's got a nice new shoot here. Maybe it just needs a prune. This one is a Jostaberry. And it's a cross between a blackberry and a gooseberry. Looking forward to getting something off that. But the birds had it all last year. And then this one is a Magnolia Stellata. The label's blown off. This is a Ceanothus that needs to go in. Always reminds me of my poor little dog that died 12 years ago. Because it was in flower the day that he died. So I always try to keep one of them in the garden for him. My old Sam. And I've got another black currant here that seems to be coming back nicely as well. So... That's pretty much it at the moment. This is another Saptida Isle. Just here. And then these are the roses that are left. This one was Gordon's. He told me to throw this away. Now I had a little red flower on it last year. And it's still fighting for its life coming back. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. Um, that's a black currant. This is a Bramley apple did well last year and the year before so it seems happy there in the shelter of the house um i've got this is a red currant didn't have any red currants last year because the birds stripped it there this is a jewel fruit tree i'm moving them down to that part of the garden there where the polytunnel is and i'm going to grow them over the wall up the wall this is another brambly apple and then this is a cherry didn't see a stick last year no cherries at all um, and I think that one is a plum. And then the jewel plums are going to move down to the wall as well. Um, and the fruit that I bought the other week, the two pears and the apple, the Cox's apple, are going to come up here and be planted here. And then along here is some more roses. Um, if you want to see what they are, have a look back in my playlist of my garden tours and you'll see them in flower. But there's an abundance, which is this one. Um... Aquadulce Abundance. This one is Queen Elizabeth in memory of her passing last year. I think that one is a Queen Elizabeth as well. I've got three different types. Um, can't remember what this one is. And this is a yellow. This is a, tom a garden, uh, you garden rose. Don't like their flowers, don't like their plants anymore. Really gone off them. And yet I had a lot off them. And then there's a few more roses in here as well. And then we look back down the garden to the rose arch and down the garden. So as you can see, it's all starting to come back and starting to look a bit more like spring.
right so i hope you've enjoyed my video for today uh having a nice little look around my garden and seeing what's going on can't believe it's march nearly already i just thought i'd show you a little go around the garden because you haven't been around the garden for a while just you know there's just been nothing to show you but it feels very much like spring today with the sun out and uh the beautiful weather shall i turn you around and then you can see the, the nice sunshine on the hill there you go that's better isn't it so yeah i'll be back to normal on tuesday i've had a bit of a to do over the last few days i'll explain that to you next week but uh yeah it's beginning to feel a lot like spring and i'm going to go in the veg garden and go and get some gardening done and go and get on with the victory garden now the sun's come out because i need to do some weeding and I need to get the artichokes out. But you know, I've lost my hair. Can't find it anywhere. So I need to have a good rummage around the garden. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on. I'm going to go and get on with my day. So if you have enjoyed my video, do like and subscribe. Do hit that bell. That'll tell you when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee as a treat for all the videos that I put out for you, then there's a link to my coffee page in the description bar below. And also to my shop for my handmade stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a fabulous week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye bye.